Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing Shaq Fu. It's also Christmas Day, but that's irrelevant. So you can do Jewel Story Tournament or check out the options, which I will of course do first to turn it down to easy. Although, this is a fighting game, which means it will actually be probably playable on normal for at least a little bit. Story, obviously. I won't know who anyone is otherwise. It's downtown Tokyo and I'm checking out the local sites on the day of my all-star charity game when... Look, look, Pepsi. Also, I'm not going to do a Shaquille O'Neal voice because I don't know what he sounds like and it would probably be quite racist. I stumbled upon a small kung fu dojo with an old man inside. I like the way he's looking at that and also the scale looks wrong but that's actually incredibly correct because Shaq would be a giant in downtown Tokyo. Greetings big warrior. You are the one from the stars I presume. I thought I'd never live to see the day. I was this close to doing an accent for him wasn't I? You can see, you can see it like it ramped up and I just cut it off at the last minute. I'm an all star if that's what you mean. We have a game tonight. Uh, would you like to come? It's going to be quite a battle even though it's for charity. Considering it's a dojo, there's not a lot of room to manoeuvre, is there? Oh no, young warrior, I'm too old to be fighting. But I wish you well. You must hurry now if you are to save the little boy, Nizu. That is, if you really are the magic one. There's a real 180 in that sentence. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm just sightseeing before my game. What are you talking about? The story of this game, I'm told, is that the developers went to Shaquille O'Neal. No time to explain. Go through this portal, find Nizu, and save him before it's too late. That portal is a it's it's a curtain door to a very small cupboard. Shaq enters the second world. Whoa, where am I? Oh there he is. That's, that's a literal where am I there, isn't it? Yeah, the story goes, the developers of the game, I want to say like Delphine or something like that, were like, Shaq, we want to make a game with you in it. And he's like, cool. It's going to be a basketball game. Oh, no, no, no. I love Mortal Kombat. Make, put me in Mortal Kombat. And thus, I guess we're starting with Catwalk Falls. What's up, Catwoman? Can you tell me about the little boy, Nezu? My name is Kaori, and I'm going to do some serious damage to your body. It's unclear if they're going to fight or fuck at this point. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Is I haven't yet discovered any button that allows me to do damage other than this very slow kick. Considering how, how much larger Shaq is than her... He hasn't really got much in the way of reach. Okay, let's kick, punch. Kind of a separate affair. It's really annoying that she can do that. Because I haven't quite figured out if I can. What was that? Holy hell. This game is incredibly hard. Because it, the controls are fairly unresponsive. And it... It's not, it's not very good. Okay. I've done no damage to her as well. Like, to be fair, I got a couple hits in. But it did, it did sod all to her. Like, nothing. The trouble is, she's got a ranged attack, which in a fighting game is a huge advantage. I can only assume that I've, I've, I've accidentally picked a really hard starting character to fight and it's it's a bit Mega Man-y and you can fight him in, in any order. Because otherwise I'm just terrible. But, and shit, like, this seems to be my maximum movement speed. I'm trying, I'm double tapping. I can't, I can't seem to move quick. He's so slow. <laughs> Also, look at the unhappy clown face he's got going on up in the top left there. I don't know why he looks so much like, well, like the, the Todd Phillips Joker film. Ah, I lost. Well, that was frankly inevitable. 
What happens when you lose in this? I'm the baddest cat around here. Don't come back. Um, okay. Do I then have to immediately fight her? Or will it take me to... Back to level set, right? Maybe let's try the, the Vagabond Temple? Or the Gargoyle's Peak? I feel I have to fight these three to progress. Probably fight and win. Or... No, I can't go back. I have to fight. I have to save this golden child. Be careful, Prince. You might hurt yourself with those swords. My swords will make you think twice about that comment. So am I now fighting someone who has a sword? Because that seems unfair. Yes, he has swords. Okay. Okay, he's got not not any swords. Multiple ranged attacks, and I'm pretty sure he he's actually. He's blocking all my attacks somehow. I'm not even sure there is a block button for me. It's normally... Oh, I taunted. In my head, to block in most games like this, it's, you just hold back, don't you? But that doesn't seem to do anything. It's so hard to get near the opponent, because I've got zero reach. I'm f slow as all fuck. And if I jump... It, like It's a set... It's a set distance for jumping. Like, it's either straight up or half of the screen. I can't like get actually close to him. Apparently, they used actual like motion capture to to get Shaq's real movements here. And these like these 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 maneuvers are all based on like real people, which at the time was impressive. Oh, I lost. We timed out. The time, the timer in these fights is so harsh as well because you do so little damage. Like, even if I hit him constantly, right? So both shoulder buttons are torn. I've learned that. All right, come at me. No, seriously, come at me because it's going to take me a fucking year to get to you. All right, I'm good. I'm just. I'm going to try doing something that. Is risky, but actually often works. I'm just going to hammer the buttons, i.e. button mash. I think I just gained health. My health definitely went up. Okay, so this, this, honestly, I'm just hammering the buttons. It doesn't actually seem to have that much effect on, on Shaq, but I think this is definitely an easier fight. My guess is Catwoman is quite quick, which... In a game where you are incredibly slow is a huge advantage. I need to get one more hit in. It's very hard because this man can block literally every fucking move I throw at him. There doesn't even seem to be like any downside to doing it. Alright. So I have to win this to win. Oh no, he's in fury. What does that mean? I love this. I I swear, n nearly every fighting game I've I've ever really played has had like some kind of meter you you built up, and something happens when it gets to full. I don't think I've ever played a fighting game where I've known how to use that. This one has fury. I've got no idea. Okay, except for Smash Brothers Ultimate, but I feel like that doesn't count. Oh, so when it's a draw, it just, it just flat out doesn't count. Even more infuriatingly, when that kick, if it hits him or if he blocks it, either way, it pushes me back slightly. There's no combos. There's just there's four different attacks. That's it. They don't combo to anything as far as I can tell. You may have gotten past my swords, but Voodoo's magic will teach you a lesson. Voodoo is another character. That I know. I don't know why I know that, but I know it. Right, let's, let's meet the gargoyle of Gargoyle's Peak. Tell me where the boy Nezu is before I beat it out of you. Yeah, right. I'll whisper it in your ear after I slap you, silly. Oddly sexual again. Everything in this game is written in such a way that they could fight or fuck. It's OG Undertale. So it's called Gargoyles Peak because there are, there's just some kind of gropey gargoyles. He just summoned lightning. He's, he's just shooting me with lightning. Alright, let's... I'm going to... Oh. I just did a, a, a fire kick. 
Trouble is, I've no idea how I did it. I'm trying the standard combo of, of down, diagonal, and such, but... That... Yeah, fuck you. I'm glad he's not constantly using those lightning attacks, because I would absolutely lose if he did that, because they... They, he seems to be able to use those with impunity. Oh yeah. I'm so getting a lot of the fire kick in this. It's all about this one kick move. Seems to do actual damage. Oh, I lost. Oh, the timer ran out. There's no music cue for the timer. At the last 10 seconds, the music should either kick up or there should just be a sound. And one minute bouts are so short. Like, could you imagine if this were an arcade game and and, and like you you paid your your money and you got a minute? It, it would suck. This could be like ninety seconds. That's sort of a standard in my book. Should, to be honest, the time the timer should never come into it. it should all, should all be about you know knockouts. Or are we worried that the contestants will get hurt? Like in boxing, what's what's the theory? I'm stunned. I didn't block any of his manoeuvres, but he hit me enough to stun me. I swear, if, if two people are playing a fighting game, there's a point where one of them figures out how to do a cheap ranged attack, and then for a long time, they will win. Did I reflect a move? What happened there? It, maybe it does did him damage to attack me. That could be a factor. Thing is, in theory, I'm, I've been getting better at this game by playing it all this time. However, in practice, I'm pretty sure just the Catwoman was significantly stronger than both of these. My Shaq Fu is superior. Although it's very hard to maneuver still. The only way to get anywhere is through jumping. And I'm, I'm yet to summon like anything basketball related, which is odd to me. I feel like at some point I should have at least, you know, Accidentally thrown an, a basketball. I nearly said an elemental basketball there. Alright, enter the fury. Nope. Nope. Don't know how to use it. I really want to beat him. But I can't get near to him because <laughs> if he just stands in the middle distance, you can't actually get near to the enemy. Have I got limited continues? Two, I think. Bit harsh. Considering I don't think this was ever an arcade game, but they stuck with the convention. Okay, let's have a go at, at old Catwoman again. Sorry, Kaori. I don't wanna I don't wanna confuse anything there. Alright. Yep. Yep, she she's too fast to really hit. Like like genuinely. She can move fast, so much faster than me, I don't think it would ever be possible for me to really hit her. She's taken damage somehow, but I don't know how. If anything, the only way to make this fair would be that she wouldn't be able to block my attacks in any way. Like, just to make it so I could supersede her. I know I nearly won by damage there, I don't fucking know how though. I think maybe I'm doing hits that, that don't register visually sometimes. Get over here. Alright, flame kick. Nope. I did it then, didn't I? Thing is, to actually do it and hit an enemy, that is that would be impossible. I've got her in a corner now. She can't get out. Shit, I, I let her out. The cat's out of the cage. Also, I thought I'd done a lot of damage to her, but I'd actually done absolutely nothing. Right, so that didn't block it. I just, I just wanted to clarify that back wasn't block. It's annoying. This roundhouse kick seems to be his only effective move because it's got just even like an inch of reach to it. But also, it seems to miss most of the enemies because they're so significantly short. But look at that victory dance. It's all worth it for that weird little shuffle he does. Alright. Round three, battle four. Numbers don't really make sense, but... 
Oh, no, I suppose the battle is like the actual total, isn't it? Okay, yep. Yeah. It's weird. You, you make a fighting game that has Shaq in it. You'd, you'd think his main strength would be the fact that he's a giant of a man, essentially, compared to most people. Like it, and yet he has almost zero reach. Norm, normally, fighting games being a big character is a, a, like an enormous disadvantage. What happened there? I jumped in the air. I kicked her, and. Somehow I lost. I'm going to keep going though. I'm not a quitter. If Shaq is anything, he's not a quitter. It's weird. I, 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 I'm definitely getting better results by playing more. But I don't think I'm getting better. I think it's just luck every time. It seems there's no skill involved in this game. Which is odd because fight, fighting games should be like, you know... Entirely skill based. Come here. What's really bugging me is like he's got a teleport move. I just I just did a fire punch, didn't I? Yep. He's got that move that summons lightning that just hits me wherever I am, even if I'm moving. Right, come on, fly kick. Yes, yes. Somehow I did it. I got really lucky there. The only way you can, the only way you can do anything is you've got to get him in a corner first. Which I'm gonna try. Oh shit! My face! My face! I, I had an itch. Is what happened there. Yes, to the corner with you. Get in the corner. According according to my sources, in this game alone, the reason that nobody puts baby in a corner is if you get someone in a corner, that's that's how you can dominate them. I don't know if that's in any way rape related, and I'm sorry if it has triggered you. Just hammering this kick button is quite effective though. He he's got nothing left, surely. Yes. Yes. Turns out he wasn't a man at all. He was a ghost-like creature. Did we ever learn his name? Your courage is praiseworthy. Beware the beast. He is as lethal as he is ugly. So, so far they've warned me of Voodoo the Beast. And now, once I beat Catwoman up here, Kaori, I'll, I'll learn more. Hmm. Is he wearing... Yeah, he... I think he's wearing a different shirt in the cutscenes where he's wearing here, because... Because that kind of looks like it, it either says a number or just Shaq on it. In the cutscene, I'm, I'm sure it said something more like... Well, how do I fight that? Okay. Thing is, if I see a charge that move up, I know I can't actually do anything. I can't really dodge it, so I might as well just keep walking at her at that point. It's all about the kicks. The punches are pointless. They're somehow slower than kicks. They do less damage, and the kicks have shit reach. The punches are worse. Come on, I want, I want to meet Voodoo, the beast, and a third, probably woman character. Female, to, to use an actual word. Okay, yeah, see, I've definitely hit her a number of times and done no damage. Does, does she, you know, is she the Wolverine of this game and she has a healing factor? Did she just block the hits? Much more likely. How is her reach less than mine? Uh, m the same as mine, even. Such a bastard. The, on the only way you can win this game is by pinning them in corners and your moves have, like... They uh, what's it called? Like push back on them, so you move backwards as you do them. I must use my Shaq Fu. I've got to get one fucking hit on her. She's not even blocking, that's the worst part. She just stood there. There's, there doesn't seem to be an actual block animation, it's just 
you attack and nothing happens. At last, I am freed from Set Ra's mind control ring. Nezu is being held on Tombstone Island, but you must get by Set Ra's royal army first. And you'll help me, obviously. Somewhere in the second world, Beast brings his skeleton soldiers to, to life. Okay. I like how there's a rich tapestry of characters, but none of them are explained in any way. <laughs> it's just... Okay, what, what are we dealing with here? Oh. Lost Jungle. I thought there'd be three different ones, like those huts and the little ruins down there. Where's Set Ra? Your magic can't hurt me, girlfriend. My man magic has left, never lost a match, and I'm not your girlfriend. She is fairly attractive, though, and so far the only woman in the game that isn't a cat. But I don't know her name. This is Voodoo, isn't it? I'm going to guess this is Voodoo. I may... Oh god, did she just turn into a hyena? I take back what I said about her not being a cat. There's a good chance she will turn into a cat. She just pulled a voodoo doll out. I can confirm this is Voodoo Mama Juju. Which is not me being racist, it's merely an office reference. Which, if you've seen The Office, you'd know that. And if you haven't, you'd just think I was... Yeah, damn it. Painted myself into a corner there. Hoisted by my own petard. Does that do me damage when she pulls that out? Also, with the purple hair, it does do me damage. She just summoned an eagle. In fact, she didn't summon it. She... No. Created it? What's the word there? I suppose summoned is the word. Oh, God. I was so close to losing that. It was, it was in her hands to win. And I just... I, took it. Weirdly, I went for an odd move there of jumping backwards at the start and she did the same thing. So I've noticed every, every of my opponents, every one of my opponents to use words, has got like a ground movement technique. Like one guy teleported, cat girl did a little kind of somersault and possibly also teleported. I don't know how to do any of that. I don't know if I can do any. Oh, I just did a, I just did a series of somersaults, but it wasn't prompted by anything I did. It was just when she hit me. Yeah, shuffle on her corpse, Shack. I'm quite involved in the story at this point. I should turn you into a little frog, but since you won honourably, I will let you pass. Also, I seem to have ripped her dress up that she's now holding up. So they're gonna get freaky. One can presume. It's going to be hot and sweaty. Oh, so it was really just one level there. So now I face the beast of Dragon's Pass. Am I compl <laughs> it's not the longest game. You're one ugly creature. Who are you? I am Beast, Setra's greatest servant. I will beat you sen senseless. He's quite hideous. He seems to lack any skin. Um, I sense this will be my hardest fight yet. Christ, the claws on that. Also, look at the neck in the in the portrait. That is, that's a powerful neck. Okay. Yeah, you're just making me mad though. You you thought you were winning, but that's that's not the case. You're just upping my fury, which, if I knew how to do anything involving fury, could be an issue for you. Oh, I think he gave me a mean look and it killed me. Which is understandable. He's some sort of mythical necromancing beast creature, but at the same time. I'm a basketball player who is admittedly quite tall for Japan. Yeah, kick the shit out of you. There, de there definitely seems to be some sort of minor health recovery mechanic. I don't know if it's if you do damage or maybe if you don't take damage for a little bit. But there's something to it. My greatest ability seems to be kicking people in the air. I, I suspect... It's, it's because I'm Shaq and I have such long reach and his ability to dunk. Of course. That's why I can't figure out any uh, projectile moves. It's because Shaq can't free throw. I don't know if that's actually true. I've, I'm pretty sure he was in a cartoon like as a guest appearance and it was a joke that he could... No, I'm thinking of Scary Movie. It's in the start of like Scary Movie 4, I think. 
it's a saw reference it's him and dr phil and it's he has to sink a basket to free them and he can't do it was that shaquille o'neal it might have been huh. they were quite good i've been like just beaten raw i'll never win this now unless i can do this until he dies no wasn't gonna happen I, f I think what he did there was he went like that, he gripped my eyeballs with just, you know, with his hands and just ripped them out. You can't hang in my league, buddy. Go away. Inferno kick. Down form or forward plus A or B. Down forward. So, sort of diagonal down. But look at that high score. Pretty, pretty excited about that. You know it's coming. It's not even a joke at this point. It's it's a given. There we are. Ass. So uh, yeah, that was that was Shaq Fu. Uh, I actually, when I started this up, I thought this was Chaos in the Windy City, which clearly it isn't. I believe that is another basketball star tie-in game. It might be Michael Jordan. I'm not sure. It's not me being racist, that's me not knowing anything about bas basketball. Oh, voodoo. Many have fallen prey to voodoo's ancient magic. She uses a power to hunt Set's enemies. Origin, Haiti. She's 27? Huh. Huh, I thought she'd be older than that. Like a hot 40. Oh, look, there's a mummy character. That must be Set Ra based on the fact that I feel like... Beast was the penultimate enemy looking at the, the mode, so it's good to know. Oh, is he going to do a fury attack? Well, at least he moves quite slowly as well. They all just seem to move fairly slowly. I, I was trying to like double tap to see if you could run, but I couldn't figure it out. Also, look at that drummer in the background. He looks, he looks like an emaciated King K. Rule. That's what I'm seeing that as. Oh look, there's me again. I'll just hold out to see if I get another bio of one of the other fighters. I suspect I won't, but I'm a little bit intrigued to see it. Ah, probably not. So yeah, that was that was Shaq Fu. Interesting little uh, thing going on there. To be fair, it looks all right, but uh, not a lot else. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Beast, created by Set from his own shadow. Beast is the mightiest of Set's servants. Age, eternal. Origin, unknown. I feel like we do know his origin, as it says it literally down below. In fact, all we know was his origin. And he's fighting Set as well. Okay, enough of this. I'll see you next time.